Hello, math rocks our students and parents. Welcome back for another day of Number Corner. It's Miss and Ferreira. I'm back with the alpacas. I'm sorry, but I have to share Maximus's picture again of his alpacas because, again, this just brightens up your day, doesn't it? They are just too cute. You can't help but smile when you look at this picture. Oh my goodness. So all I gotta say is when this whole thing is all over and I can go and travel again, I don't know, I'll pack a bag maybe, get it? I'll pack a bag and head up to Rhode Island. Maybe I'll check it out. I've never been to Rhode Island before. And maybe I'll see some alpacas. Sorry, I had to be a little punny today with my jokes. I know, I was a little bad. Anyway, uh, welcome back for Number Corner. Last time we were here, I revealed uh, the, t the card for Tuesday for today. That way you had a head start and you can get a sneak peek and play around with it and see if you can figure out where Tad hopped to and where he landed. As you can see, we have a pattern on our, uh, oh, not here, we have a pattern on our calendar observation grid here with all of the colors of the cards. We can say the pattern together before we begin. Orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow. Orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow. Orange, purple, so maybe tomorrow's gonna be another purple. Well, don't worry, I'll reveal it so we can get another sneak peek so you can get a head start on that. But before we do that, we have to go over the answer for today's card. Today is Tuesday, May the 12th. 2020 and as you can see here let me zoom it in we have a picture of tad and he is starting on number 35 but when he's hopping along the 120 grid he actually hops down 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 and then to the right so remember boys and girls let's look at our chart here and we have to start on 35 it's still blinking there from the last time when you go down straight down we're counting up by tens. So we go from 35 to 45 and so on. But then it says he goes to the right. Whenever we move to the right, you're also counting up, but by ones this time. Okay, so let's make uh, Tad hop along this chart and see where he lands today. And maybe you got it right if you figured it out uh, last night for homework. Okay, so he goes down, 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 and to the right. So three downs and then to the right. You ready? Use your finger to follow along or you can uh, use your own paper at home or your own chart. Here we go. Down, down, down. So it's three downs and then to the right one. So if we counted by tens going down, we went from 35 to 45, 55, 65. But then when you go to the right, you only count up by one. So from 65, it's now 66. Tad landed on the number 66. So I need to color it, I'm just double checking, purple. So I'm gonna click inside that 66, make sure it's blinking there. And I need to change the color of my paint can to purple. Whew, excuse me, sorry. My allergies are acting up lately. Springtime weather, the spring allergies always get to me. Okay. Don't worry, I covered my mouth with my elbow. I didn't sneeze on any of you out there. Okay, so we have our hidden picture. I don't know what it's gonna turn out to be. It's pretty interesting so far. Okay, are you ready to take a look and a sneak peek at tomorrow's card? And if we follow the pattern, what we did, we were predicting, let's see, the pattern, orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow. Well, let's see, orange, purple. So you think another purple? Let's reveal the card for tomorrow. Wednesday's card is purple. And I see a little uh, rhyme there or a little riddle that we have to figure out. Doesn't look like it, oh, actually it does rhyme. Here we go. I'm gonna read it to you just in case you can't see it from your screen. It says, there it is, Tad. You've jumped plenty. Stop, splash, fall back 20. Hmm, fall back 20. Hmm, I wonder what he needs to do on this chart. Fall back 20. Hmm, 
Well, let's see who the good problem solvers are tonight for homework. Try to get a head start since I gave you a sneak peek and see what you can do with Tad and make him hop. He starts at 66. He has to hop back 20. All right. Now, before we do that, I have to, uh, before uh, you work on that, I have to also fill out our chart for today. So I already had the date. We already have 35. He starts on 35. I have to put the moves now. Huh? The fun part for me. Ha, ha, ha. Copy. Let's see. Paste. There's one hop down. Here's two hops down. Oh, my goodness. Come on. You are kidding me. It's going to have to just look funny like that. There's your second hop down. And let's do a third hop down. Let me make it a little bigger. Maybe that will make it easier to drag over. There we go. There's three very different looking hops down. And then we have to do one hop to the right. I bet you guys get a kick out of watching me trying to move these arrows every week. At least I can give you a good laugh. So three hops down, one to the right. Our equation, the first number has to be where Tad starts. He started on 35. Three hops down and then to the right. If you notice on our 120 grid here, three hops down, the numbers are getting bigger. And then he goes to the right and it's still getting bigger. Since the numbers are getting bigger, that means we're adding. So I have to put a plus sign, 35 plus, now we have to see what we're adding to 35. Let me minimize that. That way I can find it a little easier. And I'm going to minimize this one so I can find that easier. And let's look at our number line. That always helps us. Three hops down, remember we count by tens. Up here, I drew our arrows. Remember, if you jump to the left, that means we're subtracting. If you jump to the right, that means you're adding. Now, I have to really scroll along this number line because three hops, that's counting by tens. We're going to be going pretty far on this number line today. So let's look, at, look here. He went from 35, hop down once, 45, hop down twice, 55, and then the third hop, 65. So those hops have to be 10 spots. So we're counting by tens, 45, 55, 65. So I have to draw those out on here. Here we go, 35, oh, come on marker. Here we go, 35, a giant hop, 45, a giant hop, 55. Now I gotta scroll it over a little bit. And another giant hop. 65. So each of those he hopped by 10. So we're counting by tens. 10 and another 10 would be 20. And then another 10 would be 30. 10, 20, 30, because each of those hops were 10. So we have 30, but then he took one more hop to the right from 65 to 66. So we have to do one more little hop to the right, not by tens, only by ones. 65, 66. So that was just one little hop. So let's see. Our math equation should be 35 plus, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 31. Wow, check out that math equation for all these hops. So let's go back to our chart here. Let me move it up this way so you can see it. 35 plus 31 equals, and we landed on the number 66. So the equation matches his hops. All right, so tomorrow we already looked at the card. We said it was purple, so I'm going to put the date in purple for tomorrow so it's ready for us, 5-13-20. And we know he landed on 66 today. That means he's starting on 66 tomorrow. So boys and girls, what I want you to do tonight for homework, look at this card, 
read that little riddle to figure out how he's hopping along on our chart and try to think of the moves that he makes and the equation. Let me show you this chart one more time. So we're going to use this as a clue and move it over so we can see both the card and the chart. Okay, so he's on 66. Tonight, use this clue and figure out his moves that he does and also the equation that we're going to write. I can't wait to see if you come up with the same answer as me. Okay, let's go to our days in school. Now, I can't believe what I'm about to tell you, and you're not going to believe it either. I had to look back on the calendar. I just figured out the last time I saw my students, it was 42 days of well, not 42 days of school. Well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you count spring break, the last time I saw my students was May 13th. So big shout out to my students out there in Ferreira's Rockstars. I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. I can't believe it's been, well, if you count the weekends too, it's more than 42 days. So I'm going to have to do the math again and even count those weekends. It's been a long time since I've seen you. 42 school days. Well, spring break too, I guess. That really doesn't count. It's been a while. March 13th. That was a long time ago. That was the last time I saw my students. So all of my Infraeras rock stars out there, I miss you. I'm sending you big hugs. Love you all lots. And I hope we get to see each other again soon, especially before the last day of school. Okay. So yesterday was the 150 third day of the school year. So we have to add another little X. Remember, we have three here. One, two, three. We have to put another one here. One, two, three, four. So instead of 153, what is it going to be? Did you say 154? I want you to kiss your brains if you said 154. And what we're gonna do is count that together so I can show you how it equaled 154. We point to this and say 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Then we count up by ones. 151, 152, 153, 154. Wow, that's a lot of days of school. Okay, time for some money. Woohoo! I mean, who doesn't like money? Come on. Okay, so we have some quarters. We are doing a quarter a day. And what I want to show you is as I add this quarter today, I'm going to show you something that I actually used for the April calendar. So let me just add my quarter first. There's another quarter, a quarter's worth 25 cents. Now, in our April calendar, we had shapes. And this is one that I actually had cut up to show you something for the month of April. And we had some fractions that we wrote in here. We wrote one fourth. This was one piece out of four pieces in all. Well, if you notice, this is also cut up into fourths. One piece out of one, two, three, four. We call this, it's broken up into quarters. These are called quarters also. So this resembles what we are making with our quarters. If you put four quarters together, it equals one whole. Or with money, we say it's equal to one dollar. So we counted by 25s for our quarters up here. 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, one dollar. Then we added some more quarters and we have $1.25, $1.50, $1.75, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50, $1.50,
when we come back, I will be putting another quarter up here. Feel free to play around with your own money at home, boys and girls, and see if you can notice this pattern and see what we're going to write down for tomorrow's money and, and the amount of money that we've collected so far. Parents, feel free to play around with the money at home and practice exchanging the quarters for dollars and also exchanging other coins for coins that are more valuable. Speaking of which, we have to go now to our hidden uh, pictures here. We have a picture with some money hidden and we have a bank. We did this one yesterday. I showed you the bank and I told you that there were seven coins in this bank, but those seven coins equal a dollar. I know this one was a little tricky. And I know probably some of you played around with some of the money at home. Raise your hand if you played around with the money and tried to figure it out. Who had a hard time and it was like, it took you a few tries. Oh, thank you for being honest. Yeah, sometimes it takes a few tries. They're called challenge problems for a reason. They're a challenge. I wanna give you something harder to work on. So boys and girls, it might take you a few tries and it's okay, just never give up. Just like how I don't give up with trying to move these arrows around on the screen, where are my arrows? Yep. You have to persist and not give up even when something's difficult. Just keep trying your best. That's all we want for you to do. Okay, so I'm gonna reveal the answer now. I have to make sure I have my magic wand ready and it's turned on. Where are all of my Harry Potters out there? Okay, get that wand ready. We're gonna say our magic words and we're gonna make this bank disappear to see what the coins are in there that equal a dollar. You ready? Abracadabra. Wow. Okay. So let's see. We should have seven coins. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do have seven coins. Now we have two quarters up here. Remember on that screen before when we counted the quarters? 25, 50. So let's go back. 25, 50. But now we have a different coin. We have, what is that called? Those are dimes. Dimes are worth 10 cents. So we count up from 50, we count up by tens. So from 50, it goes 60, 70, 80, 90. And when we're talking money, we say a dollar or 100 cents, we would just say a dollar. So those are the coins we use to make a dollar, these seven coins. We had two quarters and then one, two, three, four, five dimes to make one dollar. Okay, as you can see over here, I have that jeans pocket again. There are some coins in this pocket. You notice this pocket's pretty big? Yeah, we had to have a big pocket because today we have 11 coins hidden in this pocket. Oh my goodness. But those 11 coins equal the same amount that we had over here today, $1. So it's the same value of money, but we have a different amount of coins. So tonight, boys and girls, play around with some coins, either some real coins you have at your house or the coins on this app. If you don't have access to any of those, why don't you maybe make some circles on paper and cut them out and you can label them and you can use some make-believe money and paper coins that you can make at home. So play around with them. Parents, using those manipulatives will really help and help your children to understand the money and exchanging them as well. So have some fun using 11 coins only to make $1. Okay, boys and girls, I can't wait to see you next time. And don't worry, I'm, I'll am i pack up my bags another time because I have to make sure I work on these number corner videos for you. That's more important. Okay, I better stop with the jokes. I get it. All right, have a great rest of the day, boys and girls, and rock on. See you tomorrow. Bye.